Well, the North Carolina Zoo had quite a baby boom this spring. That included big babies like a giraffe born at almost 150 pounds. And then there are three tiny sand kittens weighing just a few ounces each. Shannon Smith gives us an update on this trio in this week's Zoo Files. Everyone's smitten with these kittens at the North Carolina Zoo. Guests have loved the sand cats. They come in, they'll pile up along the window, and the kids will get right down to them, and the kittens are not shy. They'll come right up to the window and interact with everyone. In mid-May, first-time mom Sahara delivered the three tiny sand cat kittens weighing in at less than three ounces each. They just looked kind of like a blob of fur. They hardly had any ears yet. Their eyes weren't open, and they weren't very mobile, so they pretty much just wiggled around their mom. And zookeepers say thanks to mom, these little guys are growing fast. She's doing amazing. They're, they're eating well, they're developing kind of how we expect them to develop. So she's doing a great job. She does get a little tired, but she's doing her job well. Of course, mom's tired trying to constantly keep up and feed three very active kittens. They are rambunctious together. So um, even before they could fully walk, they started kind of play fighting and attacking and doing little, you know, hunter behaviors with each other. Guests at the North Carolina Zoo love watching the sand cat kittens play around the habitat. While they may look cute, zookeepers quickly remind everyone sand cats are wild animals. So they have these cute big eyes. They look like puss in boots, big ears, but they are definitely fierce. They have one of the strongest bite forces of any cat. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. Now the sand cats will stay with mom for about six months, then likely move on to other zoos. North Carolina Zoo also needs your help to name the sand cat kittens. The, they're triplets, two boys and a girl. Some of the names you can pick from are Cleo or Amira for the girl, and Jabari and Ra for the two males. If you want to vote, we've got a link on our website, myfox8.com. Just go to the good news section under the news tab there. The deadline, though, is this coming Wednesday.